Hi, I'm Chris Light, and this is the Lighthouse Music Channel. Today I'd like to share an activity with you, a body percussion activity that we're going to use to accompany a really old song, a song written in 1790 by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. It was the last opera he ever wrote in 1790. It was called The Magic Flute. Now we're not gonna do the whole opera. We're just gonna do one song from the opera. opera. It is the bird catcher song sung by a character named Papageno. The German title, Der Wolkenfanger bin ich ja. My German's not quite so good, but Papageno was the comedian in the story. And this song happens early on in the opera. Mozart was famous for doing patterns in his music. He was also famous for doing very difficult pieces of music for performers he knew that were quite talented and a little less challenging music for those that weren't quite as talented. Now our character, when he wrote this, Papageno, the actor playing this was not his best singer. So what he did was, in the introduction of this piece, it's all instrumental, he had the orchestra perform the exact melodies that were going to be sung later on in the piece. You're going to hear a lot of repeating of the same music. The body percussion is hopefully going to help us see the patterns in Mozart's music. Just a little brief information about Mr. Mozart. He was considered one of the greatest composers ever, a musical genius. He was a child prodigy and started writing music and performing at age four. He's famous for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. He was performing across Europe all through his young years and then later in his adult life went on to compose and teach music. He was kind of an outside the box thinker. He didn't conform to what the people around him thought he should do. It did not set well for him in his adult life. He had some troubles because of this, but he was so gifted and so talented, and he ended up dying at a very young age, at the age of 35. He died not long after he finished this opera. The opera was not very popular when he first wrote it, but after his death, it gained in great popularity. So now what we're going to do first is learn the body percussion parts that we're going to use with this song. There are three. The first one is the A pattern. I'm going to mirror it for you. You use your correct right and left hands. I'm doing it mirrored so that it looks right for you on the side of the body that you're using. So it starts with a clap. Clap, right chest, left leg, right leg. Clap, right chest, left leg. If I put that together, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is the most used pattern in our little activity today. That is the A pattern. One more time, do it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'll get good at it really quick. The B pattern is very simple, and it actually lines up with the flute part or the panpipe part that the bird catcher plays in this song. It is this simple. Wait, wait, snap, snap, wait, wait, snap, snap. And you'll see in the introduction, I'm gonna model it when it happens in the introduction, even though we're not going to perform the introduction, I'll model where that pattern fits. And the final pattern is the interlude pattern. Watch it very carefully. You may have seen this before and you might already be pretty good at it. Snap, clap, pat, clap, snap, clap, pat. I'm gonna do it again a little slower. Snap, clap, pat, clap, snap, clap, pat. Try it with me this time. Snap, clap, pat, clap, snap, clap, pat. That pattern's going to be used every time the interlude appears. The interlude is instruments or orchestra only. There is a very long introduction. I will model the B pattern during the introduction, but I would really like you to wait until the singer starts before we do our pattern. It's a sequence, four A's, then an interlude. Two A's, one B, two A's, one B, and an interlude. That's the pattern, and that long sequence 
happens three times once the singer starts singing. All right, are you ready? Let's give it a try. Now this is the exact melody that Papageno has to sing. So the orchestra is playing it for him in advance, so he kind of has it in his ear before he starts. And it is long. So there's that little panpipe part for our B body percussion. It's gonna happen again in just a minute. Wait, 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 wait. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's the third one. And the fourth one. Interlude. Back to A. And our B. Wait, 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 wait. Back to A. And another one. Where's your B? Interlude. percussion routine to go along with this Mozart aria. It's a lot of fun when you actually know what's happening and where the patterns in the music are. So the interlude was a different pattern from the B pattern and from the A pattern. Listen carefully to the song and have fun adding this body percussion routine to this Mozart. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you again on the Lighthouse Music Channel. Have a great day.